I am here with Margarita Colangelo of um, the University of Rome Tre. Yeah. Uh, Margarita is, uh, has written on the excessive pricing cases that have recently taken place in the pharmaceutical sector. Margarita, could you share our, with our viewers your views on these cases? Yeah. Well, we have noticed that then in the recent years we are dealing with a particular type of cases which regards typically of patent drugs and sometimes also um, linked with post-acquisition strategies. This is something that happened not only in the European Union where we have um, the possibility of considering also excessive pricing within the scope of the Article 102, but also, for instance, in the US, uh, where there is also a political debate uh, over the possibility of the um, intervention of antitrust in, in, uh, in cases similar to, to those that we have in the European Union and in other countries. Uh, even if in the United States, as we all know, um, excessive pricing is not an antitrust violation as such. So we can, uh, in a certain way, say that there, there, there are some indicia of a growing trend over similar experience of excessive pricing cases. Uh, we have to be, of course, cautious. Uh, in cases where there is innovation to be prevented. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not talking about uh, uh, patented products. Uh, what we see in this case is that typically we deal with very old drugs, uh, so where the um, cost for innovation for R&D have already been recouped, uh, so that maybe uh, a closer uh, look from also from the point of view of the competition agency is deserved. Okay. And what do you think are the main challenges with bringing these cases? Well, the main challenges are, um, of, course, uh, of course, the methodology. So these cases must be uh, founded on a sound economic analysis. Mm -hmm. We have uh, um, no unanimous approaches in the literature. We have no clear indication also in the, in the, in the case law, for instance, as also these cases are very, very rare. So uh, these, these are, of course, the first challenges. Then uh, another important challenge is the fact that typically the antitrust intervention in such cases should be deemed as exceptional. So, of course, it is not the first, uh, the first best solution, as these practices should be better approached through a sectoral uh, regulator. Uh, However, there are of course some cases uh, in which the regulation itself cannot serve its purposes alone. So um, when there are the conditions of some of the screens that have been also elaborated by, by the literature, we can argue whether there is a room for antitrust intervention, for instance, when uh, again, when um, the uh, investments have already been recouped, uh, when there is uh, a regulatory failure or mm. loopholes in, uh, in regulation, uh, when there are uh, sometimes also strategic behavior of sort of regulatory gaming by, uh, by, by the companies themselves. Okay, that was very useful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.